Greetings everyone, this is uh, Ashmirai from the band Malakesh and you're watching Metal Sickness. You know, we're having a good time. Good guys. Uh, there's a lot of easygoing people, which I like when we tour. Yeah. And uh, it's good to see our fans again in all the countries. But it's also good to make new fans. So it's working out. There's only a week left. So, uh, Well, you know, pretty much... Uh, everywhere in the world, metalheads are having the same subculture, which is heavy metal. So th th there are a lot of similarities. And sometimes there are a bit of cultural differences. People are a bit more shy versus more outgoing. It depends on the country, man. It depends on the country. But also it depends on the day of the week. I think, you know, sometimes uh, weekend they drink more, they're crazier. That's how it works. I, the, in the beginning, you know, uh, I was listening to metal from a long time, like many people. And uh, all that shapes you and influences you without you knowing. But when I made Melakesh, I was very into Bathory. But I wanted to do that Middle Eastern touch with it from day one. However, as time um, went by, our influences completely broadened. I mean, I draw influences from hard rock... Indian music, Sufi music, you know, psychedelic rock. All that plays a shape, thrash metal. It all comes in me and, you know, without you knowing, you're influenced by it. You're inspired, maybe, more than influenced, so. It's it's sincere. It's sincere. Uh, uh, what works to our advantage is the music is very dynamic. Provided the sound is good, you can hear very well the notes and the dynamic stuff. So what you hear on the CD, you get to hear it live. And it's not like a streamlined noise or something like that. You do really feel it. And at least I'd like to think so, that the, 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 the crowd feel that. And, 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 and they give something back. You know, they feel the energy in our music. So... Uh, it's it, like I said, the first word. It's very sincere. As as always, uh, it takes the listener a few spins. It's a, our music is deep. It's sophisticated, but also it's catchy. So the catchy catches on very quickly. But then you start getting to deeper layers of the album. So uh, usually the, the fans pick up on it. And, a few months after its release like they go like totally immersed in it so the reaction to the album just keeps on building up instead of building down you know uh yeah it was well received by the people you know very good and uh you know it's selling well it's uh, the, the label are happy with it they like the music but also they like the way it's being marketed you know like accepted in the market and um Feedback from the press has been great, so I, I can't. I, from that perspective, there's nothing to complain about. Both, uh, Malakesh is a balance between order and chaos, and that's a representation of me. I'm order and chaos. Uh, so we have things that are made before a lot of its structures, like the main riffs, the drums. And then the singing, the singing arrangements were made inside the studio, aside a few parts. Leads, melodies, experimentations. We even have one song, which we didn't talk about yet in the press, which has two different endings. One of them is on the CD, one, one version, but then the other version, we're going to release it digitally. And the song completely changed because we felt like it, you know. Uh, there's method, I mean... You, you, you just compose the riffs and the drums and work on it for a while. But in the studio, we spent such a long time. We spent like um, 
two, three months almost. But on and off, there were some gaps. We went to America to do a show, uh, this and that. We did the photo shoot in between. Well, we spent that time in um, uh, Istanbul recording, and yeah, it, it worked out very well. It was a very good studio, very good sound. So I think so, yes, uh, because I get to see how, first of all, what when we offer songs, each song is so diverse that gives puts us in trouble that many people have different favorite songs, right? Yeah. But um, there are uh, songs that are being universally thought as the hit song, you know. And uh, I, I think the opening track is a classic. Uh, the Sacred Geometry is a hit that with that very catchy melody. You just see the crowd reaction as soon as that melody goes. They're like, yes. And um, perhaps Grand Gathas because of the video clip, it, it caught on as the fast, catchy song. Yeah, I believe so. Those are, you know, I'm, I think they're going to be, I think the whole album is timeless, but those songs are going to be in our set list for a long time. No, 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 it's, uh, I like it. Of course, when you seek the, in your quest for perfection, you always want to do this and that a little bit different. They're very minor. I'm, I just like it. I say this is a good album and I'm very proud of it. Now move on. Uh, mm. you want you want to know the truth? It's so many, it's so many great memories. I mean, uh, meeting great people on the road, friends, fans. You know, for me, born in Jerusalem, all my friends scattered around the world, right? Because of Malakish, I get to see them. You know, I'm playing in their cities, so it's really a good way to see everybody. Seeing fans who are very dedicated, um, the results of your recordings, having a song perfectly come out like you want it, uh, when you feel appreciated, when you feel accomplished, these are great memories. There's also shitty memories as well, just like in anything else you do. But if it's only one memory, then I think uh, it's not such a good thing what we're doing. There's many good stuff that you know many best memories you know that's how how i can say it in the metal scene there's a lot of nowadays due to some trend in music there's a lot of racists coming into music uh, uh, racist people and i don't like them at all most of them are dumb racist they're like they, their facts are wrong they're speaking wrong stuff and that disturbs me and makes me hate music. And you know most of them are just well-off middle-class children that don't want to scare mom and dad. But it's just annoying to see them around, you know. So I don't like that. Other bad memories is some difficulties we had in Jerusalem. Some clashes with our own families because of what we did. These are prices you pay. Here's a shitty memory, and it's very recent. We played in uh, Rotterdam, which is basically a, a city I rehearse in, but there's also a lot of um, rednecks there, and a lot of great people as well. I, um, a lot of my friends live there. In one week, don't tell lies, you fucking Jew. And one, and one email, you fucking Muslim, you should be shot. And ironically, I am neither a Muslim nor Jewish. My family are coming from a... Uh, Christian background so that's why I say dumb racist they don't know what they're saying but even so I have Jewish friends and I have friends of an Islamic background and it offends me that there are people like that in the metal scene and if you look at those guys they're little cowards they would never say it in your face because they get scared you know they look at me they're cool they walk away but there are such people and it's mainly in countries which are very well off and comfortable places like uh, Holland or something in Germany not so much uh, you get some maybe in East Europe, and it's it's very minimal. It's like one, like this incident is one in a million good incidents. You know what I mean? But it stands out, and it stands out about how dumb such people could be, and it affirms that in metal there are dumb people. Yes, you know some people say we should protect the name of, like there are intelligent people in heavy metal and stuff, but there are fucking dumb people too, like those. 
And uh, maybe that, that, that kind of puts me off. I feel like a bit ashamed to be associated with such shitheads, you know. So uh, maybe that's the worst stuff about it. You know, the, the just dumb, dumb people. They piss me off. <laughs> Hmm. If you want me to say the pragmatic thing, I'll get the weakest, smallest dude so I don't get hurt and I can play guitar some more. But uh, I'd probably take some fucking, like, a guy like... Uh, guys who, who've done a lot of damage to this world. It wouldn't be just one particular because that means I'm on a mission or something because I'm not... And beat the crap out of him. Someone like, you know, anything between Bush and Hitler and Saddam, all these, uh, Osama, give me one of those, you know. I'll take them all on, bring them pissed off at them all. <laughs> There's so many assholes out there. So, yeah, I think, you know, I'll teach him a lesson maybe. I don't know. Okay. Traditionally speaking, France uh, supported Malakash. Uh, we had our first, uh, we had, we had uh, many releases from a French label, so my guitar player used to live in France, so there's a good connection, and I like to keep that up, so it's always a pleasure to come play in France, and, uh, and uh, so I just want to say thank you to uh, everyone uh, who's watching this. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.